One man is dead after a police chase spanning multiple counties in central Indiana. As CBS 4's Eric Graves explains, the chase only stopped when the suspect hit a tree in Brownsburg. Neighbors are all but sure that this crash ended when a man being chased by police went over this bump of these railroad tracks, caught air, lost control, came down this road, and then split his car in two on this tree. A fractured fence, shredded tree trunk, and broken glass are all that's left from a Monday morning crash that woke up the whole street. You could hear cars, you know, tires screeching and, and the tree. Darren Thurnall lives on Emerson Avenue right by Orion Avenue on Indy's east side. Around two Monday morning, she looked out her window to see multiple police cars right behind the car crash. There were probably at least six of them in pursuit, and they kind of slowed down over the tracks. It wasn't IMPD that was in pursuit, though. It was Brownsburg police. In a statement, a Brownsburg police spokesperson says their officers were pursuing 55-year-old Everett Mason. The chase began here on U.S. 136 in Hendricks County, just about a quarter mile from the line into Marion County. Court docs show Mason was wanted out of Plainfield for allegedly hitting his girlfriend in the head with a pot in front of her kids just hours beforehand. Brownsburg police say Mason threatened officers and drove away from them, leading police on a more than 20-mile chase through Speedway, I-70 eastbound, and then down Emerson Avenue. Officers report Mason turned off his headlights, losing his pursuers, until police found his car destroyed at the intersection of Emerson and Orion. This was the scene when our cameras got there Monday morning. Lots of car, cop cars with lights, uh, lots of people standing over on that corner, and then the car. And this is what Mason's car looked like, split in half where it collided with the tree. Mason later died at Eskenazi Hospital. Neighbor Paul Rogers took these pictures. Thurnall says it wouldn't be the first time a car has lost control after driving too fast over this steep railroad crossing. If they're coming without slowing down at all, it automatically, they're airborne. Court docs show Plainfield police originally chased Mason after they were called to a domestic disturbance involving him. That chase reached speeds of 115 miles an hour before officers ended it when it got close to 465. The man who lives at this house tells me this isn't the first time a crash like this has come into his front yard. The last time they hit his flower bed, now he's looking to get his front fixed and his mailbox fixed after this latest crash. Reporting on the east side, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. Thanks.